Yes, yeah, so this one, it gets very confusing because a lot of students will get mixed up with this one because they say, oh, well, the variables are aligned, Brandon. My x's are aligned. My y's are aligned. Um, so then, yeah, I'll just go and um, do substitution or elimination. But we have to be very, very careful because our equal signs are not aligned. So these equations are not aligned. You can't just simply add the two equations up because that's not how it's going to work. So first thing I'm going to want to need to do is I'm going to need to align my variables. So I will subtract a 7y on both sides. So now I have 5x minus 7y equals negative 8. And I have 3x plus 7y equals 14. There's 7y on the right side, so I subtracted 7y on the right and left side. So I just worked on the top equation all by itself. Um, actually, shoot, this is an equation I want to do, but I'll, do it. I'll finish this one. So now you guys can see that my equation or my variables are aligned, and now I have the variable y has a negative 7 and a positive 7. So therefore, to eliminate the y variable, I'll have to <laughs> the two equations. So therefore, I get 8x plus 0y equals positive 6. You made you laugh. That's five points, Mr. Hmm. It's like, I didn't laugh. All right, so now I have 8x equals 6 divided by 8 divided by 8. X equals 6 eighths, which can be reduced to 3 fourths. Um, so now, when we look into plugging them into an equation, hmm, equation, now we're just going to want to plug them into one of our uh, equations. It doesn't really matter which one you're going to want to plug it into. I will just uh, I'll plug it into this second equation. Or actually, never mind. Yeah, I'll plug it into this equation. So 5 times 3 fourths it doesn't, it doesn't matter which equation you plug it into. It doesn't matter. The second equation has a 3. That's OK, but no, it's an, it's, it, if, the, if this had a 4, then it would cancel out. But it's not going to, it doesn't matter which one it's no, going to be. No, no, no. The second equation is 3x, not 5x. I know. I plugged it into the first equation. It doesn't matter which equation you plug it in. It doesn't matter if I plug it into this one or I plug it into that one. I'm sorry. I meant to plug in this one, and I said the second equation. It doesn't matter if I show you how to plug it into this one or that one. You're going to get the same answer. Okay. So I said the wrong one, but I meant to say the first equation. But I can plug it into the second one. It doesn't matter. The math is going to be the same. This becomes 15 fourths equals 7y minus 8. Add 8 over 8, so that's going to be 19. So as what I wanted to show you as something that you guys should be familiar with, hence the reason, Sheldon, I have absolutely no idea why you're spending your time right now looking at that. Exactly. This is exactly my point, ladies and gentlemen. If you're looking up here, all right, and you're following along, then this stuff doesn't seem as difficult as you so many times want to make it. Once we figure out x, it doesn't matter. x is a fraction. Congratulations. We have a fraction, but that's OK. You take it, plug it into one of the equations. It doesn't matter. I plug it into the top equation. I multiply across. 5 times 3 is 15. 1 times 4 is 4. Equals 7y minus 8. Again, we're still trying to solve for y, so it doesn't matter. I add the 8. How can I rewrite 8 as a fraction with a denominator 4? Well, that's the same thing as 32 over 4. Why? Because 32 divided by 4 equals 8. So now I add the two up. 47, 47 over 4 
equals seven y. Divide by seven, which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, 47 divided by 28. What? Mul dividing a number, dividing by seven, dividing by seven, yes? is the same thing as multiplying by your reciprocal. So your final answer would be 47 over 28.